we're going to do here is cut an 88 inch hood. You can see the patterning on the screen here. This dictates how a machine is going to cut the material out. What we do with this machine is when it's cutting out a pattern, obviously we want to make sure it's as precise as it possibly can um, to the drawings on the screen. So we need to reduce any movement in the material. So what we do, we have the machine go around first and drill all the holes. What it does after that, it then goes around as all the creasing. So still there should be nil movement in the material. And then it does any internal cuts and then external cutting last. And all the time you hear this noise going on in the background. What that actually is, is a huge air blower under the table which pulls the material down to the table bed. So you literally cannot move material. It's just literally is sucked down and held solid onto the bed on the table. And all this all goes together to make sure that you know the hoods are cut as exactly as we possibly can every time without fail. Finished. Job done. All we do now is peel off the patterns and hopefully they're all cut out. So you go into the material and there we are. What we'll do now, we'll fold this up and we'll take it over to our hoodies and uh, show you how it's made. seen the hood being cut in the main factory we've now come over here to the hood department where we're going to assemble the hood and sew all the panels together attach all the buckles all the straps and you can see how we make our hoods then we're going to literally fit the finished product to this 8080 series free Land Rover and you can see the whole thing uh, as a completed job well, the first part on any hood is the preparation part and here we're creasing all the panels on the hoods first. Uh, this is all dictated to us by lines in the hood which comes from the big machine we saw in the main factory. At this stage here, we're preparing all the straps for the hood. So this is the main straps which hold the hood to the Land Rover or allow you to roll the sides of the hoods up and down in a nice sunny weather. Um, basically what we're doing, we're cutting the straps to length, then we punch the holes in the end of the straps to take the brass tips and then this machine here puts all the brass tips onto the ends of the straps and they go off the sewing and attaching to the main hood. The first job is assembling all the component parts so it includes preparing the straps, sewing the straps to all the panels uh, and then slowly the hood builds up as all the panels come together. Here we're just going to assemble the panel which holds the whole of the hood onto the front of the windscreen of an Andro. It's quite a tricky little piece to do as you'll see. All of our hoods, the arleting that we do, we do by machine. The reason we do this is if we're putting arlets in by hand, uh, what tends to happen is people put arlets in a different pressure and it's never as consistent as we can get it with a machine. Now we're sewing the windows into a rear curtain. And you can see how this is done. It's quite a tricky little job to do. This is one of the important parts of the hood, obviously the sewing of a rear curtain at this stage is obviously a finishing feature of the hood itself. So getting the sewing nice and even and the window nice and square it is of high importance to us. And over here we're now going to, with the hood top, literally we're going to attach the panels we saw being made earlier. They're now going to run the whole hood top through the binding machine. It's obviously a very large panel to handle, so it usually takes a couple of people to fold it and get it all ready. And you want to come up here, we'll show you that coming together. When you get to this stage, some of you've got extra panels now, which are underneath, underneath the main hood. And this is when you're binding along, you need to be very careful we don't get snagged on these. And it's keeping a nice smooth flow to the binding. This the side curtain now is being assembled. So what we've done now, that's the side of the hood. We pre-thread all the ropes through the eyelets which we've seen being made earlier. And all the creasing allows you to fold it nice and straight all the way down the hood. With all the buckles and straps being fitted into the correct places on the side curtain. So now we've got the, the top plate and the hook and the under plate on the other side with a little rib, aluminium rivets go through. We use aluminium rivets because they're what we originally used. And we start off with the front one and we have to give them a good tap and they just nicely even. They go down as a blind rivet and make a very neat finish. And these ones are a little bit trickier. One good swipe and they go in the tree. That's it. And the hook's on. 
most of the panels now have all been finished, so the next stage we obviously have to join the whole hood together. Uh, this can be quite tricky the bigger the hood it is. We're now going to join the side curtain to the rooftop. One of the, the important features is to try and keep the joining of the side panel and the rooftop nice and straight. Okay, so this is the, the finished item uh, come off the machines. Uh, we just give it a good once over check. Uh, we thread the rope through for the rear curtain. That's a bit tricky for you to do yourself, but we do that here. We'll uh, pop the hood on the Land Rover. So as I say, it's all folded the right way and ready for us. And when you fit new hoods, you always get a little bit of uh, slack increasing in the hoods. The secret is to keep the hood nice and taut for at least the first few weeks, because being a natural cotton canvas, it uh, has got a tendency to have a little bit of shrinkage. We allow for shrinkage in the patterning, but you must keep the whole thing taut for the first few weeks, then the hood should settle down and be a bit more like a bit of a drum to the sound, and you'll have a perfect fitting hood from then on. So there you are, finished job.